Chapter 565, Imperial Spear, Buzz. At this time, Dizuo was holding a spear without equal in this world. Spear and man became one. Dizuo was a spear and a spear was he. They were perfectly in sync. All of his openings and flaws disappeared the moment he wielded this spear. No one would know where to start attacking. The spear in his hand was neither an emperor's weapon nor nearly treasure. This was his true fate weapon. The infamous Imperial Spear. It was refined from a nine accumulations destiny stone and after many refinements, it finally became an unrivaled spear. In recent years, one famous person after another fell to its edge. He once boldly declared that even without using an emperor's law or weapon, he would still be able to subjugate the world. Dizuo was not boasting. Everyone who had seen his imperial spear all praised it without end and called it unique in this world. An ancestor who had yet to see his spear technique already started his praise. To be able to create a spear down like this, even if it doesn't become a heaven's will down in the future, it will still be an unrivaled spear down. Dizuo stands tall among all the geniuses today. A character of the ancestor level could understand the profundity of this Dao with a single glance. This person could tell that Dizuo's Dao was formidable just by the way he held his spear. Dizuo then pointed the tip towards Li Kai, even before he began his offense. A spear intent covered the entire world and locked Li Kai in place. This world might be vast, but there was no place for Li Kai to hide at this moment. Dizuo's spear seemed to be able to pierce myriad worlds with a single thrust. The spear represented his will, firm and unblockable. Take out your weapon. Dizuo spoke with an awe-inspiring tone. At this moment, he was not only one with his spear but also one with heaven and earth. He had forgotten about hatred, the blood feud, and even the death of the Phoenix Maiden. The only thing in his eyes, at this moment, was this powerful enemy, Li Kai. The only thought that plagued him was to defeat Li Kai. All unnecessary thoughts were dispelled. He was indeed extraordinary to have such achievements today. It was not an exaggeration when people called him a heaven's proud son or a supreme talent. The most crucial contributor to his success was not his brilliant aptitude, but that he had a focused determination that no one else did. He had forgotten all things right now. He was only driven to defeat Li Kai. With the spear in his hand. All the things in this world were at his disposal. Dumb. The lumbering clanking of iron chains resounded as a huge fiery lock sealed Li Kai's body. Li Kai then reached out with his hands and presented two divine chains of his own. This was the refined flame of the sun. It used its supreme essences to conjure a universal law divine chain. A law of fire. This law of fire could melt everything. This chain capable of burning all living beings was now a pair of chains that neatly fitted in Li Kai's hands. This is my weapon. Li Kai smilingly said as he looked at Dizuo who was now one with his spear. Dizuo's eyes became fixated on the law of fire in Li Kai's hand as he thunderously shouted, Take this. With that, his long spear went forth. The motion of the spear equated to the shaking of rivers and mountains. His thrust caused others to be startled, and they clicked their tongues with praise. This attack had the style of a great master, an attack that couldn't be rationalized using common sense due to its deep profoundness. Li Kai uttered a battle cry as the law of fire clanked together like iron chains. They then flew out directly forward to meet Dizuo's spear. Boom. The law of fire in the form of chains was like two gates that sealed the imperial spear. It closed off the sixth Dao along with the heaven and earth. Li Kai had managed to stop this extremely brilliant spear attack from Dizuo. After the successful block, the law of fire suddenly became soft and lowered itself before pouncing like a venomous snake at Dizuo's chest with great speed. Dizuo responded with a swing of his spear, causing the heavenly river to shake. The movement of his spear also allowed him to easily shift his body since they were one, thus effortlessly evading of the incoming venomous law of fire from Li Kai. In a minute, the two of them exchanged many blows, creating a colorful and exquisite battle. Back and forth, blow by blow, all the way until the world became dark, Dizuo wielded his spear as if he was the sole ruler of this earth. With it in his hands, he was an unbeatable champion who basked in the non-stop praise from the ancestors. Li Kai, on the other hand, was using two fire laws as his weapon. Sometimes they turned into spears, sometimes into chains, and sometimes even into a saber and sword. However, Dizuo's spear had myriad magical forms, allowing him to fight Li Kai without suffering from the slightest of disadvantages. Dizuo's thrusts were powerful to the point where even the stars shook and lost their glimmer. His precision was excellent and was a cause for admiration. Such a Dao of the spear was exceptional if not unique in this world. The battle continued from the sky, then to the ocean, and then back to the sky. The two of them relentlessly exchanged blows without any consideration for the state of the sky. Dizuo's techniques were orderly yet flexible with its remarkable and more than sufficient offense and defense. They could be described as without any openings. He was a paragon of the spear Dao. Meanwhile, the fire laws in Li Kai's hands were just dancing and swinging freely without any discernible structure. It changed freely based on his whim. This complete improvisation made it harder to predict his actions. He attacked as he liked and had many openings. Li Kai's skill couldn't compare to the perfect spear down of Dizuo, but one after another, he managed to deflect all of Dizuo's attacks and then some. If Dizuo's down of the spear was a perfect, ornate work of art, then Li Kai's style was a product of nature. Although coarse, it was still artistically refined. This battle didn't rely on any emperor's weapons or treasures or even the unbeatable laws from the seniors. Nevertheless, their Dao and simplistic battle allowed spectators to catch a glimpse of a miracle of the mysterious Dao. The two freely exerted their Dao on the other with their own writings without following any prior footsteps. Only a battle such as this would show their monstrous abilities and unparalleled enlightenments. One spear and two chains danced as the two of them fought violently. All the spectators were lost in this battle. Not even the ancestors were spared from gasps of admiration. Meanwhile, the young ones all felt that they gained a new sense of understanding. Even the previous generation benefited with regards to cultivation from watching this battle. An ancestor emotionally commented while watching this colorful battle. 
Both of them are heaven's proud geniuses of this generation. Anyone who is born in the same era as them is both lucky and pitiable. No matter how brilliant they might be, it would be difficult to surpass these two. Another old undying watched the fight and softly sighed with sadness. They were not at such a level at the same age. Some of them were glad that they were not born in the same era as these two. Another couldn't help but say, if both of them survive this battle, then even if one of them reaches a mortal emperor, the other will surely reach the peak of virtuous paragon. The mesmerized younger generation was without words. No matter how excellent they might be, all were overshadowed at this moment. They were truly far too lacking compared to Li Kai and Izuo. No matter how hard they tried in the future, surpassing these two might be near impossible. They were like two gigantic mountains that were situated on everyone's chests, exuding an unbearable pressure. Even Dian Lunhui, who was standing in the horizon, had a serious expression as he watched the battle between these two. He imagined the scenario where he was on the stage fighting against either of the two. How long could he hang there? What method would he use to defeat the enemy? Not using treasures and invincible arts left behind by the predecessors. This was a real showcase of one's abilities. The two fought for a very long time. During the fight, they altered old techniques into something new altogether and derived these new forms to their extremes. Eventually, Dizua lost his patience in this long battle and uttered a cry to suddenly change his spear technique. It became chaotic and was out of the ordinary boundary. Each thrust was its own world. In an instant, Dizuo's offensive capabilities skyrocketed to a tyrannical level and were no longer as perfect as before. It was stained with flaws but its power was much stronger as if a dragon was freed from its chain and was finally able to soar to the nine heavens. With this change of technique, the imperial spear in his hand became an awakened dragon as if it had its own consciousness. At this point, Dizuo's spear technique had an even further outreach like a bright galaxy in the form of the imperial spear that suppressed the sky. However, during its moment of defense, it was like an impregnable darkness, sometimes. It changed to a state of reversing yin and yang as endless ice and fire alternated in resonance. Dizuo finally used his killing move. This is his true refined Tao of killing. Countless people were moved before this scene. Each of his attacks caused their hearts to thump. 